on risk management, uh, in the beginning, you mentioned you're proud of your unique approach to this uh, via asset tiers and other mechanisms. Could you walk us through this approach in more detail? Yeah, sure. There's lo lots of different um, mechanisms and tweaks to, to the kind of classic model that enable risk to be managed. One of the simplest things I think that we implemented right from the start was the, the concept of a borrow factor. If you're, um, I'll tell you why this is important. If you're lending and borrowing on, on Compound Arave right now and you, you deposit, say, some USDC, and then you, you have two options. You could uh, borrow some DAI or borrow something that's more volatile, like chain, like Link, for instance. Um, actually, the, the amount you can borrow, your borrowing power is largely determined by what you've deposited as collateral, not by what you're borrowing. Um, and that doesn't really make any sense because ultimately the DAI to... Um, the DAI to USDC loan is um, is much less risky than the link to USDC loan. Obviously, link can go up in, in, in price and it can move sometimes very quickly and that exposes to lenders to risk and so on. Um, and so actually, the, the collateralization ratios that you use for those two different types of assets should depend not just on what you're using as collateral, but also on what you're borrowing. Um, and when you do this, you enable, by introducing borrow factors that account for that volatility on the borrowing side as well, um, when you do this, you can actually raise capital efficiency across the entire protocol. And the reason for that is that on, on Compound, for instance, your, the collateral factors of every asset are somewhat constrained by the, by the protocol's um, sort of most volatile asset, the lowest common denominator. It helps determine what the highest collateral factor can be, um, even for something like USDC. So um, introducing borrow factors is something I think every protocol needs to have if, you, if you're if you supporting a, a variety of different types of assets from collateral to a liquid. So we did that. We also have uh, asset tiers where uh, what you can do with assets depend on what tier they're in. So we have collateral tiers where things can be used for lending, borrowing uh, and collateral. We have cross borrowing tiers where things can be used for cross margin trading, essentially just borrowing multiple assets against a single collateral type. Um, and then we have a, our kind of um, least risky tier, which is the isolation tier, where things can only be used for isolated margin trading and borrowing. Uh, and there, if you take out a borrow of, of link, um, you can use any types of collateral you want. You could use four or five different types of collateral, but you can only borrow link from that one account. Um, so that's that helps protect um, that helps protect lenders from the risks of, of liquidations cascades firing off from people's accounts leaving some markets with bad debt um, now obviously having having being able to only borrow one thing from one account would be a bit painful if you had to use a, a single metamask account for this you had to keep moving creating new accounts and um, moving collateral between them and so on so on um, for this reason on Euler we, we in, uh, invented a um, a new system to have sub accounts essentially all all generated from a single ethereum uh, address so you can deposit your collateral to a single ethereum address and then you can essentially isolated margin trade using uh, sub account sub accounts that are native to that address on chain um, much like you can do isolated margin trading in binance you can now that, do that in DeFi through euler uh, in an over collateralized way so th those accounts as well are really useful for risk management like if you don't want to if you want to take out multiple borrowers even if they're not they're not necessarily forced to be uh, separate from one another you might want to do that just because it's prudent to um, yeah, to separate the collateral uh, for, for different types of loans.